Gibbons, what I already said a few minutes ago, it won't come to a surprise you that our answer is the implementation of a guaranteed annual income. Um, concretely, presently, given the seeming unwillingness of other parties to follow suit with our ideas, some things that we would do would be to support the implementation of most of the recommendations of Munir Sheikh in the Social Assistance Review, which came out in 2012, which would see the harmonization of a wide range of benefits and um, the establishment of a <coughs> basic standard of living for most people who access services provided by the provincial government. Uh, we also ran in 2011 on a campaign that would see the introduction of more food programs to ensure healthy local food in schools for children. We also support uh, the proliferation of community food hubs as well as uh, community gardens across the province. <clears throat> in terms of the self-evident uh, nature of something like a minimum wage increase, I think that the instinct is dead on in that we look around us and we see an economy that is becoming increasingly unequal in terms of the allocation of wealth. Uh, we sense that the people at the very top who are making 1,000 times more than the average worker may not be working 1,000 times as hard. That might be a bit of an understatement. And so the question, which is critical from a public policy standpoint, becomes what do we do? If it was as simple as increasing the minimum wage, then unless we cling to some sort of conspiratorial view of the world, we have to ask ourselves a question why that hasn't been done now. And the reason is because of the very, very sparse evidence in terms of how efficacious that would be in addressing poverty, uh, namely the, the relationship between increased unemployment rates and an increase in the minimum Time has wage. expired. <laughs>